Wayne get ready to go. Good thing, Gordy. That journey was so long from our homeland, planet Guelph. Can you believe what these humans are doing to their own Earth? Like even their animals' manure is causing phosphorus runoff into the lakes and streams here. And this means that little light can penetrate the surface of the water, which causes decreased oxygen levels. This causes a decrease in water quality, which is potentially toxic to wildlife and livestock. Oh, my head just hurts thinking about this tragedy. That's why I'm sending an viral pig like you down there, Wayne. Hopefully we can help. Oh, the beaming system's ready to go. Are you ready? I'm ready to go, Gordy. <laughs> Marty, I just don't know where our chickens from the U of A poultry unit got off to. I know, Frank. I told you not to leave the barn door open. Now our research project is going to be completely ruined. I know, Marty. We're going to be in big... Holy smokes, Marty! What is that? Gee golly! Is that... Is that a green pig? Let's go closer for inspection. Maybe we can capture it and take it back to the U of A swine unit and they can look at it to see what's up with its green color. Fine, we can go. Luckily, I always carry a rubber chicken in my back pocket. Let's knock it out with it. We found that there are two enzymes that are different from a normal pig. The first is called phytase. Phytase is secreted from the salivary gland into your saliva and then activated in the acid in your stomach. Phytic acid is a common form of phosphorus in grain and can account for 30 to 80 percent of the phosphorus. Normal pigs are monogastrics, meaning they have no room in with microbes to break down phytic acid. Therefore, the phosphorus cannot be digested and there's high concentrations in the manure. Wow! There's 30 to 65 percent less phosphorus in this manure. And then we come to the alarming fact that you are indeed green. We have found the green fluorescent protein, aka GFP, which was originally found in jellyfish. GFP contains a sequence of amino acids which absorbs and emits light, called the chromophore. We have used GFP in the past to monitor chemical reactions and cell movement. What do you have to say for yourself? Omke omde. Oh golly, she's speaking Pig Latin. We need a translator. Uh, I can speak English too. I am an eighth generation Enviro pig. Us Enviro pigs have the enzyme in us called phytase, which increases our digestion of phosphorus. We're also cheaper to feed because we don't require an extra supplement of phosphorus. GFP was added to the embryos of our ancestors many years ago, making us green right now. So why are you here, EnviroPig? Uh, because the Earth ignores the environment. We're here to help you because we want to breed with your pigs so that they have the enzyme in them called phytase. This will decrease phosphorus runoff and make the environment on your Earth more friendly. We accept your proposal! Excellent. Be green and phosphorus free. Beam me up, Gordy.